Bourbon and Boxing, episode 68. Yes, I cried. Yes, I cried. Return up the man. Come on. Return up the man. Oh, my God. You know that I'll be back. Here I am. Return up the man. What is up, Bourbon and Boxing fans, man? Welcome back to another episode, episode 68, with your boy Chef Jeff and Big Spade. Ooh, just another gorgeous Saturday. Hot as hell out there, but hey, as long as you're inside, you're good, I think. <laughs> well, hot week. I decided to walk home the other day, right? My wife was like, I'm going to be out in Eastgate getting hair cut for my daughter. I'm like, man, ain't no big deal. I'm about seven miles, you know, seven or two miles from my house, right? Yeah. Seven minute drive about, you know, depending on how fast I walk. So I'm like, oh man, that's cool. I'll walk. Not bad. Big deal. Fucking halfway home, man. I'm fucking drenched in sweat. (laughs) I was like, damn, bro, this is some real ass. See me running in it. I saw you. I was like, bro, that's and you had a hoodie and shit on. Like, yeah, fucking, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> you were just trying to sweat, wasn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. How was your week otherwise, man? Man, it was cool for real. I mean, it went fast as fuck. All I know, I remember morning time waking up for work, Friday weekend, till they told us, oh, yeah, yeah, I got to come in Saturday. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> like damn really <laughs> then i gotta go to my nephew party so it's like damn yeah. i stayed up late so i know yeah. i'm gonna crash later on at night <laughs> that's how i was yesterday man like as soon as you was like hey let's do this the next day and i was like cool cool we'll, we'll catch up with it on the next day whatever i'm like i sat down and started watching uh those fights and fucking next day i don't know woke up <laughs> <laughs> co-main event Watch a little bit of that and then watch the main event and then crash right the fuck back out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> My wife come home like, you just going to sleep? I was like, no, fuck it. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do? Get up? <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> hey, that is it, man. Let's get to the break. Big news. Let's start with boxing news, man. I mean, of course, we can't. The obvious, you know, the, uh, the New York State Athletic Commission uh, gave Ryan Garcia his one year suspension uh with further penalties added on to that as far as he got a ten thousand dollar fine he had to give the purse money back to golden boy that he had gotten which was like 1.1 million uh the purse did that he had gotten he had to give that back to golden boy uh and then he was also uh what else was it he has a oh yeah his victory is overturned to a no contest now it doesn't go as a loss yeah. You know, what I mean, either, but it is a no contest, so you know it takes the L off of Devin Haney's record. Uh, yeah. It doesn't admit what we saw. We saw an obvious ass whooping, which everybody seems to want to keep bringing up. Yeah, we did, but we also saw a guy on PEDs that we've never seen him fight like that. He's never been that fucking aggressive. So you got it. Like, it's hard for me to really take anything away from that fight, but I think a one year suspension wasn't enough. I really don't. I think he should have got a two year suspension like Khan did, a uh, two year suspension like uh, Jack did. But supposedly, before it, like he knew before he pulled this retirement shit that he had made a deal with the New York at, uh, State Athletic Committee, which I don't know what kind of deal you make, you know, if you're not going to come out and admit you did what you did. You know what I'm saying? Like he's never mm-hmm. come out and said, hey, yeah, I, I did it. You know what I mean? He just continues to throw supplements out there and throw and get lawsuits put against him for, you know, uh, false allegations that he's putting on substance that he's claimed that has that in there. But I don't think it was, I I just, uh, I think two years should have been the minimum. Uh, An example should have been set with him. I don't think in this type of situation, this guy knew what the fuck he was doing. You know I mean? It was meditated. I I feel like a year would have been cool, but they should have made him pay more money. All yeah. that money he fucked up. He fucked up a lot of people' money, bro. Well, uh, Devin no. Haney's trying to sue him. So, no. Devin Haney's trying to uh, bring a lawsuit against him for uh, pretty much losses, lost wages from what people saw happen in that fight. Yeah. Like, they saw him, like, not just get beat, but it got beat bad. So, you know, it cost him money. But, mm-hmm. yeah, so you think the one year, all that, but you think it should have been fine more. 
I feel, huh? Good. My bad. What you say? No, no, I said, but you feel like he should have been fined some more money and shit like yeah, that. More money. I mean, a year, a long time in boxing, bro. And him, him, his year, his year compared to like, say, was if Terrence Crawford was to be suspended for a year, he'd probably do the whole year in the gym. Ryan year is completely different. Ryan year yeah. gonna probably do the drinking, drugs, whatever. I ain't gonna even put drugs, but drinking. I know he do that for yeah. sure. So, like that year, I was telling, I was telling, uh, I was telling, matter of fact, my barber the other day, I said, if I was Ryan, I'd go off of social media. And that whole year, I'd be working on new shit. Won't yeah. nobody be seeing me. And if y'all see me, when I do take pictures, I'm in the gym. I ain't even talking. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Make them, yeah. make them, like, oh, make them, make them miss you. Out yeah. of sight, out of mind, make their ass miss you. Yeah, because he could use that year to build, build a whole fight. lot, and there, you know, claim claim your innocence, which I don't think he is. So how do you think Derek James feel about that shit? Uh man, I think Derek James is in a a rock and a hard spot right now with the Martin loss, the Garcia now being overturned. I mean, as, I don't think he's got a win at all this year. Uh, he's lost. Uh, every one of his fighters have lost. Uh, for him, man, it's just a rough year. He lost Spence. Uh, still got Frank, which how does that work? With Frank still with Derek James, but he's represented by Spence Jr. Uh, business is business. Huh? Yes, I mean, but that would seem awkward to me. I would be worried if I, mean, I was Leonard. Derek James. Leonard, I mean, Leonard, yeah, Leonard was messing with Tank, and Tank don't fuck with Floyd, but now Floyd done got him a new, you know, but still. The, even when yeah. they was going through what they was going through, Leonard was still fucking with Floyd. So, you know, business is yeah. business at the end of the day. If I ain't in the beef, I ain't got nothing to do with that shit. I ain't, yeah. I fuck with you and I it's fuck like with you. It would be awkward when these two just separated and now they have to be in the same room with the with the fighter. Like when Frank's there. in the same room as a motherfucker I don't fuck with. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. Ain't Lost no blood. Ain't no Harvey. blood being spilt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's yeah. some female shit if you can't really sit in the same room as a motherfucking Well, office. I mean, with a whole lawsuit going on, there might be bitterness there. I'm not saying you can't oh, No, it. no, it's bitterness. It's you can't can, you can, you can, you can tell, can tell at the press conference. Like, it, it had to be. Awesome. That, you ain't see that? You got to go back and watch it. You go back and you probably really went. Deep oh, I saw it was Spence. I didn't see much of Jane, but I feel like it had to be awkward for him that yeah, that situation was in the middle of a lawsuit. This was all the way down yeah. here. And then dude was sitting between them. Yeah. And okay. then and then like uh after the press conference, Jerry James used to stay around the shit. He left when they was okay. talking to Frank. You know what I mean? Earl okay. Spencer's yeah. still there. Remember Tank asking, like, where where Derek go? Like, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah, so it was an awkward situation, like I was thinking. Like, you know, even if you're not going, you're not gonna go and beef with somebody in that type of situation but it's still going to be like fuck man this is awkward i gotta be around yeah, this dude and in yeah. my mind as derrick james i would honestly be thinking when is spence going to convince martin to leave me you know what i mean is once spence finds a new trainer i mean you know, it's going to be that's in most it. It. yeah that's what i'm saying though. I, would, I would see spence doing that you know what i mean like hey you're going to get i feel me like i feel like if he owe money. that man that money too and he's not paying him that's some whole shit yeah, that's yeah. The whole dude, that, that, dude that has you on the top for years, probably them there yeah. a decade, a little bit over a decade, bro. Yeah, like, I mean, it's that's that's a thing called a bonus, man. When a dude's doing his job and he's doing it well and he's keeping yeah. you, you get that man drunk contract is yeah, I'm gonna take care of my coach. Yeah, I'm you gonna know? take care of my coach like I take care of my 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 girl, like not in that same but, but like, yes, but like, like you, I'm gonna take care of my coach. Like you deserve yeah. this. I wouldn't be here without you. You feel me? I wouldn't made this without you. I don't know what motherfuckers be thinking in this boxing world. They don't look out for their coach. Like that shit is absurd. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. This is a motherfucker that when you was sweating, he was sweating, motherfucker. When yo, yeah. when you, when you was punching, his hands was hurting on no mitts. Like, yeah. come on, man. When you yeah. hit that, when you hitting that body back, he got to take them blows, bro. His body going, his body hurt just as much as yours, bro. Yeah, he's you know? in that gym, nonstop, but not just him. Other fighters got a deep stable. 
You know yeah, what I mean? When you lost, motherfucker, he lost. Motherfucker. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I don't yeah. understand that. I don't know the, the case, but if, if he owe that man that money, bro, Spence, pay that man that money. Yeah, just pay the man. All and that awkward shit. I hate out. awkward shit, bro. I yeah, it's it. get to the point where they split apart because, I mean, I'm sure Spence is going to have his his pick of who he wants to train him. And he can go to Garcia. You know, he probably go to Ben Davis. He could probably talk to Freddie Roach. You know, what I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of options out there for him. Even Calvin you know, over and over at, uh, with Javante, uh, hit him up. I'm he, I don't know, Bo Mac would Bo Mac train Spence? I mean, why not? But I don't see that happening if he going to 154. No, no, because they're gonna fight each other at some point, and you know, yeah, they fuck around and fight again. Yeah, they should. I mean, we'll see what he does against Fedora. Fedora is a lot more dangerous than what I think people think with him. Uh, yeah, they, a lot more I mean, they think it's a walk in the park because it's Spence, but bro, if he if he fights like a big man, that's a trouble fucking fight, man. Mm -hmm. That is a fight I wouldn't want to be in. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a hard little fight. Yeah. Yep. All right. Man, we saw the fights last week, man. We were live for those, man. So it was a great card overall, I thought. A very nice little card. Uh, we did see an upset uh, in uh, Gary Antoine Russell losing. Uh, my boy was down about that. Tough loss for Gary, but, man. Tough loss for me. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. They're saying he was having the weight issues uh, when you read more into it. Uh, no, no, that wasn't him. That was the uh, Elijah Garcia kid. Wasn't making oh, weight. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, and Elijah they Garcia. Dude gave him three uh, some pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah he came said dude gave him some pounds. Yeah, man, overweight, couldn't rehydrate, back down the weight. Uh, kind of didn't. He seemed off, but hey, Karan Davis, you got to give the hats off to that dude for taking advantage of that fight and mm -hmm. handled doing what he needed. He was there to, to to win, and he did, and he looked good, and that was a career changing win for him because another loss with you know having three losses. You know that could, that could hurt him, but what his coach was saying uh, after that fight because he won that fight unanimously, right? right? He should have, he should have, but it was a split decision because one of the judges had a one eighteen to one ten in favor of Elijah Garcia. You ain't see that on the uh, Gary Russell court, dude. The judge had it like one eighteen to one twelve. Yeah, yeah, and I mentioned that on hit on that post that he had made. I'd mentioned the same thing, like, yeah, on the Gary Russell, same shit. He clearly lost that fight. Should have been a unanimous decision in Pelos favor. Uh, even with the point deduction, that should have never happened either. That ref was way too involved in that fight. Yeah, uh, he, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was way too involved. That point when deduction have, when you when you take a point without warning, that's a, you on some bullshit. Exactly. Yeah, and then after I saw Gary uh Russell punch after the bell two times back to back times he never got a warning one time for punching after the bell and he did it two uh rounds in a row and i was like damn like clearly after the bell throwing an uppercut or a body shot on him and i was like damn that was fucking clear as day uh, and he yeah, Russell was everybody locked bro he was our lock. <laughs> yeah 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 i had him as a lot too uh but yeah that scorecard man when you're seeing these scorecards it's crazy and like i said uh yesterday we saw the same thing uh with uh, the guy I was just talking about, uh, took a loss and he won the fight clearly, but then they get he lost by unanimous decision. I'm like, holy fuck, how do you win a fight? And then, like, they don't even make it a split decision or make it try to look less obvious. Every judge went again. Like, it was fucking weird. Uh, it was a what? dude that just fought Oshaki Foster. I just mentioned his name, uh, Abraham Nova. Yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely robbed, man. So, I mean, like the uh, coach for uh, Karan Davis was saying, this was a career-defining fight for Karan Davis. Some bullshit like 118 to 110 could have been the difference in that fight of him winning or losing. Right. And if he loses because of some card that some dude you could put in front of a committee and he can't explain that card. Explain to me how you gave Elijah Garcia eight rounds in that fight. Show me the eight rounds you thought he won. That boy mm -hmm. got lucky if he won two rounds. You know what I'm saying? So that was some, like, come on, man. Like, that type of shit has to start being, if the judges don't have to answer for their scorecard, what the fuck is the point of a judge? They, because need, to have, they need to have real 
pro judges boxers, like, judge and that shit, bro. yeah people that know what the hell they're watching because if you got a 118 110 scorecard what were you doing during the fucking fight just looking out in the crowd and shit like no, nah, obviously yeah. wasn't watching pro that boxers judging these fights bro because they know the <laughs> angles they know when Motherfucker might yeah. look like he ain't doing shit, like he doing yeah. something on this angle, but he really ain't doing shit. Like, yeah, exactly. So I, I mean, I don't know, man. You got to hold these guys a lot more accountable. Uh, but before we get too deep into that one, uh, the fights we saw last week, of course, we saw Tank Davis defeat Frank Martin Martin with an eighth round TKO, beautiful TKO. I mean, come on, legendary. Uh, but then you know, here come all the haters talking about. Well, Frank was, uh, you know. He was uh he was he hydrated, he all this bullshit, he was drained, you know. Uh that wasn't an impressive win for Tank. And I'm like, come on, people. Like, I've got him on my pound for pound list, and I got him in my top five. And right now, like I put him over in a way just for the fact that the competition level that he's fought compared to what in fought. Like, yeah, in a way he's unified more divisions, but he's it's weak ass divisions with one good fucking fighter, maybe in those divisions, maybe one good fighter in that division. And then Tank is literally, you know, he he's fought guys at 140, 135, 130. He, you know, champion at, you know, the 130, champion at the 135. But it's like he doesn't get the love. It's always some excuse, some something they have to say about, oh uh, well, Frank, Frank was overrated. It was too soon for Frank. Went too soon for Frank when he was going to fight Shakur. You know what I mean? Like, right. keep that same energy. Bro. Keep that right. same energy. Ooh, I didn't hear that. That was a good one. That was yeah. Good. That was but good. what? what's your thoughts on that, man? What is next for Tank? And what, what? Where do you have him on your pound for pound? I would think you obviously would. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. I would think you obviously would. I don't even have to ask you. I know you got him. Where you got him on your pound for pound? Like, I got him three, man. People think I'm crazy, but I got him number three right now. Oh, I can't even put a number. I I hate doing that. I can't put because I'm. I, it'd be like I'm biased, like who I like, who I like. So I can't really. I ain't gonna even put that. But he he up there. Um, yeah. yeah. Um. Far as that fight, how I feel about it. Shit. I mean, hey, when you talking and shit, talking about what you're doing, that's fine. I'm gonna come and check and see what we gonna do when them lights on. So yeah. I feel like, like you said, everybody went when it was time to fight Shakur. The motherfucker wasn't saying he wasn't ready. So, yeah. <laughs> so is that a is that a big gap between Shakur and uh, Tank? Y'all trying to say? Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, it was a good fight. I mean. He make it look easy. When you can make it look easy, yeah. they're gonna talk. They're gonna say that anyway. Just like Shakur, they said Shakur was born because he made he beat do easy. He ain't had to put no work in, he ain't had to bust a sweat. Yeah. So when you make it look easy, they always gonna down talk it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially when they want to see you lose. But as far as who Tank should fight next, you know we want to see him and Shakur. But I want to see him and Shakur. Yeah. But I I'm I'm, I'm kind of like kind of like Saudi for real because they talking about Tank and Loma even though they was talking about Tank and Loma back then fighting yeah they should have fought at 130 I still feel like but you know this was crazy though Tank was when they was trying to say that Tank was just now you know how like we might be like Adula Mason but he got to wait like let him see a couple that's how Tank was. He was just a beast. And they yeah. wanted to throw him in there with Loma already when he just beat up Pedra Pedraza. And he went, like, they threw him in there with that shit. You feel yeah. me? So yeah. now, motherfuckers, like, he should have been fought. No, the timing wasn't right. Just like, if yeah, you said, time is going to be right. Yeah. Yeah, that's just like, just like everybody think Boots should fight Terrence Crawford. The timing just ain't right. It's two different missions. I'm on two different missions. You feel me? And then we still, they will still build and tank up. Tank ain't have all that shit. All the people talking about him like they like he do now. But Lomachenko had that. You know what I'm saying? So they probably was trying to make the money where they wasn't taking the loss because they knew what they had. 
You know what I'm saying? And they yep. probably didn't want to take a loss with top rank because they knew what they had. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that shit don't well, go. And, and I'm kind of salty too because I, since Shakur over there and Loma over there, I feel like Shakur should get the fight now. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. But it's like, who yeah. the fuck ain't gonna fight if he don't fight Loma? Well, here's my thing. We've not seen PBC and Top Rank work together like that. Yeah. So man. as much as they're saying that they would make this fight until yeah. I fucking see it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Rob Earl was talking good though. I, yeah, I, 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 he's talking good. good. But then when that kind when they when they go to set down, one of them's gonna want more money. One of them's gonna think their guy is the A side more than the other guy. I think I the guy think, with the loss think, is obviously the fucking A side. Tank is obviously think, the A side. I don't think that now. I don't think they know Tank that guy now. They know he that guy. So you feel me? Yeah. Now they know. Like now, when they was trying to make that fight happen back then, or was talking about it, then that would have probably went on. But now yeah. they know Tank got that light. He he that yeah. guy. You feel me? So I, yeah, ain't I think no, it is, there ain't yeah. no way Bob Arum and Top Rank could come in and be like, "We want more money. We want more than him, or we want more money." Y'all can't do that. He gonna get a bag anyway, cause Tank gonna sell yeah. out. Regard, they yeah. gonna sell out regardless. I just feel, I feel like him and Shakur sell like sell oh, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just feel like I feel like they should get Shakur that fight though, just because they on the same side. You know what yeah, I'm saying, but it's all about what Loma Chico would do. He might wanna. Get that cash in for that bigger bag with Tank. You know what I'm saying? The yeah, call it, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, now but it's for like, me. the core could fight the other guy that just beat Numa Rete and take his belt real quick while Tank hurry up and and, and knock Lomachenko off. And then they then that's when you, you gotta get, make then, that fight. Then that's when the fight. That's what I yeah, think gonna, gonna happen. Bigger, that's what I think. Up. That's what I think about to happen. Mm-hmm. Ain't gonna fight Lomachenko, knock him off. Shakur gonna knock dude off and take that belt, and then they gonna collide. Cause Tank yeah. got the WBA, Loma Chico got the belt, got a belt. Yeah, uh, WB, no, what well, Tank WBA? got the WBC? No, Tank got the WBA. Shakur got the WBC. WBC. The IBF. So he, uh, Loma's got the WBO. Yeah, he gotta have the WBO. Yeah, yeah WBO belt. <laughs> My thing is, is I love the Tank versus Loma fight. And it's like you said, you build that Shakur fight even to be the biggest fight in boxing, right? right? And you start it by putting Tank versus Loma first. But I think that's way more dangerous than what people realize for Tank because Loma's naturally a 130 guy. Tank's going to come in. He's a naturally 130 also. All right. So I think that's a way better matchup at 135 because they're both going to come in at 133. You know what I mean? come in under they're not going to have to rehydrate there ain't going to be no excuse for anybody in that fight because they're both going to naturally that way and i think that makes for a hell of a fucking fight loma gets more power at 130 he don't have tank power we know that he don't have tank power and we've not seen loma we have seen loma get knocked down right loma has been knocked down early in his career not knocked out, but knocked down. Uh, so, can he take a punch from Shakur? Will be the overall on that. But I think Shakur that's like, tank. Uh, I think Tank, Tank. I think if can he, he take a punch from Tank, can, can he take a no. punch? I mean, that's a question. Can no. you take a solid punch from Tank? No. We saw the power. Like, look what he did. With no punches him, bro. Did that that Frank Martin when he he had him out with the uppercut. Just seeing hit him with the uppercut. He literally was out with that. And like almost like he went out and woke up. Like, oh shit, I almost went down. And then he came <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh damn, oh shit. Did I, did I, how did I pass? I think I passed out. <laughs> but by the time he realized it, he done got hit with that overhand. And it yeah. didn't even really look like he put his all just natural. Bam. And just that power. So he's got the natural power, which is obviously. To me, makes him the A side on that fight against Lomachenko, but I think it's a fucking hell of a fight just because Look, Lomachenko's super tough. But that's what I'm trying to tell. This is what I want to tell people. This will show me. This will really show me Tank's level. If he I, goes I, in there, and I, he want, I want y'all to look. Y'all be people Whoa. be saying that. People be saying that, right? So, what? 
people be saying like this really gonna show me tank tank and all that bruh he already had that fight go back and look at pit bull pit bull but he, he had a hard hand so we didn't yeah, really th- and that's what i'm saying no no i'm not it saying really that good. and watch the difference of when he couldn't use his power and he had to box that man. Yeah, That's yeah, like I said, he would have destroyed Pitbull and knocked him out if he had both hands. I, I think, I mean, come on, but he went. You got to go back and watch the footwork. You got to watch the slit, the in and outs, all that shit, bro. Dude got it all, bro. But he know if he could kill you, he's going to kill you, bro. Yeah. Not literally, yeah. though. But if he know he going to hurt you. Yeah, yeah, that he can hurt you. Hurt you. Bro. Yeah, and, and it's only a better to take your punch. He's walking through that shit. And I'm gonna tell you this: Cambosas ain't punching like that. I mean, um, Loma, um, Loma ain't punching like that, bro. Not I like that. To... Not like that to hurt no tank. That that's no, gonna no. tank yeah, off of. Yeah, you're right. He's not. He's not and a guess powerful. What? And guess cool. what else? Loma slows down. He's a slow starter as well. Yeah. And once he gets awesome. going, he gets going, but he does like he's got he's his slow down like, in the later rounds. That's what made him lose the seven eighty. He slows down. Well, that's what made him lose uh, uh Lopez too. He didn't finish the yeah. fight. Out. Both of them. Yeah. And yeah. if you you can't get come on, man. This man. Yeah. You ain't about to, bro, you gonna have to be on your shit from what round one. However, he coming, you gotta be prepared and ready for it. These dudes is not ready for that, bro. I'm t- I don't give a fuck. Watching him and Terrence Crawford, it's magical, man. You can kind of even put Usyk in there, man. I was super impressed with yeah, what Usyk yeah, was yeah. able to do and keeping that but control. I think Tyson Fury just team. started fighting. He, he taking, yeah, he, I told you, Tyson took that eighth round off. Fucking mistake because he was playing into his hands, but that nose, man, he fucked that. That's nose. Well, yeah. When he when came back, nose is fucked up, up, bro. When yep. a motherfucker hit you in this motherfucker, yeah, they be talking about yeah. that chin, <laughs> yeah. that chin too. But when a motherfucker hit you right here, your eyes water up a little bit, break it, nose can't breathe. Yeah, so yeah, but I was super impressed. But when you watch Terrence Crawford. And you watch Tank, and you just see them in there, just like yeah. they're very populated. They're they're they know they before they even bro. start they boxing, populate. they have a game plan. Everything, bro. Yeah, yeah. They 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 love to break you down, let you showcase what you got. You know, give you the confidence. I call Terrence Crawford the Venus flytrap. You know I mean, he'll he'll fight backwards, make you think you're being the aggressor, and then bam, hit you with a fucking counter. You see and what he did to Sean Porter? Yeah, yeah. Man, they told that he, man he was closing he came Porter. out for the kill, bro. Yeah, he walked that's Porter. A, that's a different. That's a different switch. Mm-hmm. Like him and Tank got them switches you know, crazy, bro. Right. Yeah, like yeah. them switches. Like, like I, I ain't seen boots in that switch. I see, like when they talk about boots, I see boots coming out beating a motherfucker. I ain't yeah. seen him with that that one switch where you where he calculating that he. And then you just be like, oh, oh yeah, he about to come out. Yeah, of, like it's the it's a kill. Like that shit was like a sparring match with him. And like, all right, let me see. All right, bro. Like yeah. I ain't gonna hurt you. Yeah. I ain't you gonna. Oh, hey, bro, you know you down. What? I'm down. Oh man, I gotta kick your ass, bro. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. His daddy. I, everybody was like, yeah, his daddy, man. His daddy knew. Yeah. Man, get it, man. Get him out of here. He it's probably. He probably. They probably had some shit. He probably told Terrence, like, bro, you do this to my son, I'm getting him out of there. I ain't going to lie. You feel yeah. me? Like, yeah. come on, man. Like, that shit, them, them boys be knowing each other. They be cool. It's boxing at the end of the day. But some of them guys be cool, bro. Them been in tournaments with each other. Yeah. Overseas. Oh, yeah. Come you know, up man. together like, to the juniors bro. and all man, that. Yeah, amateurs and juniors. Yep, yep. There's a lot of lot more connection. And a lot of these, a lot more of these guys fight than what people realize. Uh but man, yeah, Tank's unreal, man. I got him in my and people think I'm crazy having him over in a way, but the facts are facts. His level, they say he hasn't fought anybody, but when I bring up Barros, oh, uh, he rehydrated Barros. What the fuck was he supposed to do? Let dude get 154. He was moving up to 140 to fight him. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Do you think he's not gonna put some kind of clause to he's a 130 fucking guy? 
He yeah. he can get to 140, but he ain't gonna let you get to 154, motherfucker. Right. And um, and come in with that type of weight advantage. So it's stupid for these. Like that's the most uneducated boxing argument fucking ever. The rehydrate. Oh, he dehydrated. He rehydrated it, and he had a rehydration clause. Shut the fuck up, but guys. What he doing it too? He gonna fucking do. Yeah, he doing it too. Uh, yeah, and Barros was a hell of a fighter. Still right now, one of the best at 147. He beat him. He fucking beat Ryan Garcia, who everybody claims is a fucking beast. Beating at one fucking 40, moving up in weight. You know what I'm saying? He beat Pitbull at one fucking 35. And you know what I'm saying? Or did they fight at 130? 135. Either way. Yeah, 135. Pitbull is a champion right now. Undefeated. He's a champion right fucking now. You know what I'm saying? Then he comes in against undefeated Frank Martin and beats him. You know what I'm saying? Like, at some point, y'all just got to shut the fuck up and get a man his credit. Like, without me being too much of a dickhead about it. But the, the hate that some people will have just to, you know, like cloud their vision, just like the Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney shit. The fuck you hate Devin Haney so much, y'all don't give two shits that Ryan Garcia cheated. I don't make no sense. Like, as a true boxing fan, to see another so-called boxing fan to think that that's okay to do that oh man yeah pds are cool as long as you beating the dude i don't like the fuck right. like, nah, I, just, I, can't, I just think yeah. everybody seen what they've been saying when mm-hmm. it comes to him that chin it ain't what it's supposed to be no no and that's a fact because and when he goes up against a heavy puncher we know but here's also the thing the aggression, the when getting hit with a punch from a guy who already has a hard punch from Ryan Garcia and being able to recover from that compared to getting hit by a guy who's got a little bit, got the extra weight, and is now on PEDs coming in with an even harder punch. Bro, that's like, you know, I mean, that's a hard, that's a hard thing. And you saw it in Devin, especially like we said, if you don't have a chin recovering from that type of punch like and he never did he got hit with it in the first round and dude never really recovered from it. see but ryan garcia he got he 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 got a nice snack hook he ain't got no power he ain't power in both hands powerful and no, i think i think it, it just exposed everything from Devin haney what everybody been thinking like so what you gonna do when a power puncher true power puncher natural get to you like tank what you ain't gonna be with able to withhold that shit and what you gonna do yeah. try to box him tire yourself out because we seen you gas out against loma chico you was tired in them rounds yeah. what you think tank gonna do you gonna box him what? this this yeah. was, and, and, and and this is what people ain't and this way he's exposing right now y'all can box me all y'all want y'all can hit me tap me up well, what are y'all going to do when I put this energi- energizer battery in my back? What yeah. are y'all going to do? Because yeah. y'all think y'all punches is not going to keep me off of y'all, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And that's ain't, fact, nobody but- hitting, ain't nobody cracking like me. And I could take punches like a Mexican. Mm-hmm. I could yeah, take these he's punches. Got he's got a nice little jaw on him. Uh, yeah, we saw, a, we saw that kind of break landed on him. When it, it right, what the first second round was it? The first round, uh, Frank landed that nice little counter on him. He was yeah. back in the ring, yeah. uh, getting him in the corner, and then tank our Frank hit him with a nice little overhand counter, and he took that well. And that was a good fucking solid punch that catching most guys would have sent him stumbling. You know what yeah. I mean? And it didn't really even fade. He, you saw it hit him. You saw, you know, okay, yeah. got me, but. It didn't phase him enough to where it even stumbled him, threw him off his game or nothing. He went right back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not me. But yeah, I mean, we've seen that he can't take a punch. Tank's a beast. Uh all the other fights on there. We saw David Benavidez win his fight at 175. He's already claimed he's gonna go back down to 168. Go back down, Dave. Go yeah. Back down. Uh now my thing is Baval's not gonna be as big as the guy he just fought. Baval's about his same size, right? Six one, six foot. So he that might that. be a type of matchup for him. He got uh, that weight though, bro. Like, like same size, but that muscle mass and shit is different, bro. Okay. Like my boy looked at like a slim gym, like compared to dude. Dude yeah, was up with the packs, and I'm yeah. like, and I was trying to tell my little brother, he's like, maybe that's his. He's like, that's probably his uh genetics. I'm like, nah, I just know David. He ain't probably working with weights and you ain't got to work with weights no. when you're trying to be a a bench presser 
but you yeah. know, get that little cut in you a little strength, probably put a little more power into your body. You know what I mean? Get you a real yeah. six pack where that shit bricking up because them dudes up there, boy, them them motherfuckers is like 175, they be solid than a motherfucker. Yeah, that's, that's like, the dude, like the dude that just fought uh Bavo. He wasn't he wasn't solid body wise, bro. He was yeah. looking like how uh like David that's does. Same, same yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't solid. Like them dudes got a little solid and a lot of muscle mass on them, bro. Like, yeah, they do. I mean, that don't mean nothing, but I think the fight one of them, he gonna need to. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it yeah. Just, I, mean, I don't know. Man. Well, I, yeah, I think it would be tough against Better V. I think it'd be tough against Baval. Baval, I'm fifty fifty on him, man. Like I, I like him, but I feel like I still got to see him against a Better V for me to really kind of like. I I know Baval has the footwork, he has a hand speed, he has a ring IQ. You know, what I mean, he's he's a smart fighter, uh, but I feel I just even with an older better B man, I just feel like better B is really tough. But that's a fight we'll get that in October. But I like what I saw from Benavidez. He looked spectacular. Oh, yeah, he's good like him. I mean, he, he boxed like his ears off. You know what I mean? He looked like him. It's just like yeah. the punches went as effective. You yeah, get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they weren't phasing him. As but much. that damn combinations he be throwing. That was yeah. somebody at 168. They ass would have been yeah. grass. Well, here's the thing. Do you think Canelo watches that at 175 and thinks, you know, I can beat this guy? Because we even said it on the live that, hey, we think that Canelo fights a lot better than what people think. We don't think David Yeah, Bennett after we seen that. In the fight. Man, uh, no, uh, after I seen him at 175, I do think it's going to be a good fight. But I think he can yeah. beat Canelo. But after I seen that fight, it's like, Mm. Yeah, yeah, it, it makes you realize that hey, Canelo, Canelo is like one of them motherfuckers too. He he'll walk through that shit if it ain't nothing, if it ain't affecting him like them punches you was throwing and knocking him back. He coming, he coming through that shit, buddy. Yeah, yeah. like so one seventy five. I mean, it might be even a match out even if they fight at one seventy five though. Yeah, with them too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, I don't think uh, Canelo would do it at one seventy five, uh, but. Man, 160, I still think, like we said, Canelo, it's a lot better fight than what people think. And I think Canelo should honestly look at that and say, hey, you know, believe that he can be. I I don't know. I don't seem to me, I almost feel like with Canelo, it's not even he don't think he can beat David. I don't in his mind, he can beat anybody. Right. No fighter thinks they can not beat a guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Like most people oh, here, he's afraid of this. They step, they do that shit for a living. You know what I mean? They're not ever afraid of anybody. You know what I'm saying? They know there's chances, bigger chance fights than other fights, of course. Mm-hmm. But they, I don't think he's afraid of a guy like David Benavidez. I think it's more of a personal thing because David calls him out, because David makes him, you know, his boxing. Man. Though. That's and, what they're supposed to do. And that's what you're supposed to do. What a, you know, He's like, oh, you should be more respectful and earn the right. I mean, I don't know how much more he can earn it. What the fuck? Who's you to respect? I ain't respect yeah. coming in like, the box one, you respect. You earn you respect. respect. Yeah, you fuck earn it. Anderson ain't respect Jordan. He still try to cross that motherfucker. He, that. he did cross yeah, him over. What you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> you know, never crossed Jordan over. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I mean, to me, that fight, if you're the Saudis, how do you not make that uh, uh, a December fight? When you got the Fury versus Usyk in December, I mean, you could even make that. I mean, I don't see Canelo fighting any earlier than December. He's going to have a fight in September, but I don't think. I mean, DB could be the guy in September. I think he could. He didn't take any damage in his last fight. Who? Uh, David Benavidez. I think he could fight in September. No, nah, he tore his like ligament and his hand was fucked up. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. He said both his hands were fucked yeah, up. So we both his hands. Were- so that won't be until December, regardless. Uh, so we'll probably get a fucking Berlanga versus Canelo in September, and I ain't wasting a penny on that bullshit, bro. I, I won't be watching that. Not one penny wasted on that fight at all. Uh, there are some other good ones on there, man. Like we said, we saw Gary Antoine Russell take a loss, his first loss in his career, uh, against a guy, Palello, who fought really well with his length and his size, seemed to just – Gary Russell couldn't get anything going on. I didn't really look like himself. Uh, was it the length that kept him 
at bay? Was it, could he just not figure this guy out because of how much bigger he was? And he wasn't like overly big, but he just had that nice little enough of that length to just keep Gary at bay and just kept hitting him with that overhand right all night. And he just kept eating that right. Uh, what, what what do you think happened with Russell? Or was looking it just the, looking, looking for the knockout instead of fighting and boxing? Looking for the knockout. That's what happened personally. Yeah, yeah we said he needed to go to the body more. He was head hunting a lot. I did see that. But I mean, just I thought Paletto, I got to give Paletto credit for fighting a great fight. Uh, like we talked about with the ref, even with the ref trying to, you know, make his mark in that fight, trying to favor Russell, as we clearly saw, uh, you know, stuff like that. As much as we like Russell, you know, we got to call all guys uh, when we see it, when we see those refs trying to favor somebody in that way. Uh, and it may not have anything to do with Russell as much as it does with the platform. You know what I mean, and shit like that, that, you know, same as we see with judging. Uh, we saw one of the judges give uh, Russell, what, was it a 118-110 or 116-112 or something like that? They gave him a favorable card on it. 118-112, well, it it some shit like that. Yeah, 118-112, and it's, it was clearly Palello unanimously won that fight. Like, it was no doubt about it. So, you know, little stuff like that, always controversy every week in boxing. They got to fix that shit with judging. But we also saw Carlos Adamas defeat Terrell Gucha. What's Carlos, you know, he controlled the whole fight. It was a good fight. Uh, that 160 division, I would have to say, is maybe the most boring division in boxing. Uh, they really got to step their game up at 160, man. Uh, get a Jana back versus Carlos Adamas, which I think is a big fight in that division. Uh, and then you got the Shiraz guy coming up a little bit. You can make that fight down the road. But they got to try to find some uh, young up and coming talent for 160. It's by far the uh, one of the weakest divisions in boxing, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't no, know. Right. Attention to it for real. All right. The fuck three friends. What the fuck did I write there? <laughs> All right, man. We had the fights from uh, last night too, as we saw Rafael Espinoza defeat Sergio Torino TKO fourth round. Uh, absolutely dominated that fight. He's got to give Robisi Ramirez a rematch, in my opinion. Uh, he won the. He's a featherweight title holder. Uh, we saw Andre Cortez defeat Abraham Nova in a fucking horrible decision. That should have been Abraham's fight. Super featherweight Troy Isley defeated Javier Martinez in a unanimous decision, tenth round, uh, which he looked really good in that fight. Troy did. Floyd Diaz, I like him a lot. He defeated Francisco Pedraza in a great little fight for him. Uh, good little fight. And then the fight I really wanted to see and I missed because my uncle and them showed up that. Uh, Demir Zamora, kid, he is, I think, is he in the Floyd camp or something like that? Uh, or the Crawford camp? I think it might be the Crawford camp, but they're really talking high on that kid. And What's what I got, uh, Zamir Zamora, something like that. Zamora is his last name. Uh, looks really, looked really good when I saw him. Then my uncle and them showed up. I'm outside talking to him. I'm like, fuck, so I'm going to go back and watch him on my ESPN plus today and go back and watch this fight. But it's supposed to be a nice young up and coming dude, like high, high hopes are like big mm -hmm. on this. Like, uh, and I want to say he's part of that Crawford camp along with uh, most of the guys that were on there yesterday. But yeah, I mean, nice little fights. Rafael Espinosa, he reminds me a lot at his weight of uh, Sebastian Fendor. He's six foot one. He's got that length, but he likes to fight inside. But, man, he's got nasty uppercuts and body shots. Uh, when he starts to get inside of you, he's fucking dangerous, man. The first round, he caught this dude with a counter. Like, literally, went like this as dude punched. And then, boom, and mm. fucking knocked him. I was like, ooh, just beautiful. And when you Are see you it right? on Rick, he rolled and then caught it. it was what's, what's his name? Um, oh, I was Rapid, just saying. Espinosa. Nah, that was with Bo Mac, you know. Um, uh, Troy Isley, Troy Isley. Yeah, you ain't see that uppercut he landed on, dude. Yeah, he looked beautiful. Yeah, his Ooh, fight. His weight class. He, uh, where is he at? He's a oh, middleweight. He's a middleweight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a middleweight. Should show us down here, if I'm correct. He's a middleweight. So he and he looked a little bit bigger than he's looked in his previous fights, and he definitely looked like because I was always like 50 50 with Troy Isley. I've seen him look really good, and I've seen you him look, look bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. This fight, he looked 
spectacular. He looked like he definitely took some steps up. His foot game was way better. His hands, his hands. Yeah, and they were talking him up too, you know, Crawford mm-hmm. and them saying, look, this guy's a future champion, you know, at middleweight, no doubt. You know, uh, I like, I think he's still got some work to do. And yeah, 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 of course. For me, you know, to say, hey, put him against some of the other, but he's only what, what, that, 12, 154, 12, 12, 12, 12. I mean, 160. Middleweight, 160. So, yeah, in that weight, he's definitely got an opportunity. But I don't know, against a Janabek right now, I wouldn't put him against. Maybe a Carlos Adamas would be a great fight, but might still be a, two, one step up too much for him. Him versus Shiraz, who we saw about two weeks ago. Now, that would be a fucking hell of a fight. Shiraz is a little big, though, at 160. Oh, yeah, the uh, tall dude, he Yeah, nice. yeah, big. He, he big. He got power, too. That would be dangerous for obviously, I think. Uh, but two young up-and-coming guys, a great fight to put on any card. I'd watch it all day. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, so some good fights yesterday. Love what I saw. I think Espinosa has to give uh, uh, Robisi Ramirez a rematch because the one thing I did see yesterday – was he takes a lot of shots, man. And he leaves that chin up a little too high. He got knocked down by Robisi and hurt in the first fight. And Robisi was off his game. Uh, 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 on his game, Robisi Ramirez, I think, beats Espinosa because he's going to catch him with one of them punches. And he's not going to get up if he takes those type of punches from Robisi Ramirez or a bigger puncher. So he's got to learn to hit. There was points where you saw him keeping his chin down really well. But then when he would do his back, if you can get him on his back foot, that's when he tends to raise his head up a little bit and his chin is exposed. And any big-time puncher like Robisi is going to take an advantage of that and he's going to get slept. Uh, but like I say, it reminds me a lot of fat Sebastian Fedor with his length, his size, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. Big big guy for his, uh, I think, lightweight is where he's at. But yeah, all right, guys. Man. That was pretty much our show. My my guy, Big Spade, he's got some stuff that he's got to do today. I got oh, some man. stuff I got to take oh, care of. Hey, I'm over here like, woo-wee. They about to wear me out. That's all I'm thinking in my head. <laughs> I swear, bro. Are you, oh, gonna be outside? Huh? Y'all going to be outside? Yeah, my uh, sister, she got a uh, house in house. They brought a house <laughs> with the pool in the back. So I'm going to be in that damn pool. Uh, Just be... I, Hanging out. I'm gonna be in the house. I'm gonna be in the house or in the pool. I ain't. Yeah. But you know, I'm born in this shit, man. This shit ain't nothing with hoodies and sinuses. Yeah, I mean, true, true. You built a little bit different than some of them. I'll be out there. (laughs) I'll be out there hooping in that shit. Fucking around. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hoop wise. Boy, you got to get me on the ball court, man. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, yeah. me and my boy at work, we were just talking about that. Like, we got to find, we gonna we gonna get some shit going where we be hooping on the weekends and shit like that, man. Anderson got that uh, rec center. Yeah. They got, they got leagues you can do there, bro. You can sign oh, up yeah. for leagues. And yeah, Anderson yeah. or? Right, right in Anderson where that beach uh, beach acre park is. They they got a rec center there. Like, oh, like yeah. Beach acre park over on the other side, there's a rec center. And they have, uh, like, leagues from, like, 33 to like 40 and 35 to like check it out and let it it, 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 catch up on it and let me know yeah yeah, i'm gonna grab a flyer next time i'm there because i got them all up and they tell you grab that shit bro grab that there should be a summer league that may already be started we may not be able to get until fall i'm thinking probably grab that bro yeah yeah for sure we can jump on the fall league for sure that's exactly I'm telling you, I get back in the court. I'm losing my weight. Yeah, oh yeah, that's the way to, to you know keep that tone. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But hey, man, Big Spade, take us out this motherfucker like man, you do. Man, y'all already know, man. First, I want to give a shout out. I don't know if y'all know, uh, the amateur kids they having the Junior Olympics in uh, Wichita, Kansas. I think it start today. You probably could catch it on US. A boxing, click on the link. I love the kids, especially we got we got some hitters out of Ohio, but Cincinnati for sure. We're gonna be in the yeah. building, you know. Um, but you know, shout out to them, man. Y'all already know, man. Y'all from Ohio, from the city, man. Bring them gold medals back, man. But um, you know what I say, man. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the link. Yeah, you know I'm saying, fuck with us. 
You know what I mean? Thanks for joining. You know what I mean? You see it? Like, subscribe, share, all that shit, man. It's going up. We're going up, man. Our hey, last man, live, hey, our hey, last hey, live show was better than the last live show. So that means well, the next no. live show going to be better than this live show. Yeah, yeah. and talking about time, you know I'm big on that Francisco Estrada versus Bam Rodriguez fight, my guy. You want to go live with me on that or what? Yeah, I go because you want me to watch, watch it. You want me to watch him, so I got you. Want you to watch Bam you, for a while. You, you do what I do. You know, yeah. when I ask you, you you do it. So, yeah, yeah I want yeah. to check him out. So, so yeah. Next week, guys, we're going to go live on that one, man. And like yeah. you said, the last live was better than the last live. And yeah. this live yeah, be better be than the last <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna keep doing it. <laughs> hey, but, yeah. This is episode sixty-eight, man. I'm gonna let my boy Spade get to what he needs to do. I'm gonna get up here and take care of my shit, man. You all have a great day. Thanks for joining Peace, us on y'all. this beautiful Saturday, yeah. baby. Have a Peace good week, out. Man. All right, man. Yeah.